Here we are, New York natives, underground art scene. We're at the Brooklyn Art Terminal with Flambeau. This is right beside the uh, the bay, New York Bay, basically. If you go around here, we'll go around in a second, and we will see the Statue of Liberty. That's where we're positioned, and this is about as far away from cool East Villagey New York's. Bushwick, anything as you can get. This is where like artists like myself, I suppose, who've been through a lot of that stuff, reach a time when they're getting serious and they don't want to be around any other artists because they get pissed off by other artists. This is where we end up, in big alienating buildings like this, where we just focus on doing what we do and we don't talk to anyone because we're too fucking busy. of the first thing that I ever built and um, you know I was hyped up on coffee and god knows what else New Orleans 1993 with a time on my hands awake through the night a bunch of coat hangers that I found some duct tape and a pair of pliers and I was like I got a plan so I just stayed up and worked for 18 hours through the next day people got up the next day they're like what the hell are you doing man are you still up and I'm like making this. It's entertainment art, no doubt. But to me, I love the concept. The fires on the back of the head. It's uh, huge. You'll see pictures, it's huge. But it's an afterthought. That in itself is a perfect concept to me. It's like a person who wears fire on the back of their head so powerful because they don't even have to keep their eyes on it. They'll never see it. They're not concerned. They're not interested. They always have fire on the back of their head. Mm. Only someone like that would have blades on the front of their head because this is the way that they relate to the world and that is the way that they just are. You got some wings up there. Yeah. As you can see, I love wings. All different types of wings. They're my fire wings. I made them back in the late 90s. A part of what we do as well is to make references to things back in the 80s and 90s that people understand from Studio 54 and we bring them back in a different form. We try and make sure that people understand the reference. So that's a lot of what I do as well. Tell me a little bit about your show before we start. Fuck your head up. Huh? I'm gonna fuck your head off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. the idea tonight. You know, it's like uh, trying to like you know get the correlation between shaman and showman. You know, I was always like fascinated by that. You know, <laughs> shaman, showman, shaman, showman. So the idea is that like you know, I'm very aware of the fact that I do all these different characters, and some of them are really messed up. You know, and some of them are really like heartfelt and beautiful, but some of them are the opposite. So how do you marry those two? And I think it's kind of like almost like you know. Um, the whole concept of shamanism is to push it on the extremes and you know kind of like pull people into your spell by doing that but you open up one side of the world and you open up what in the other side of the world you make it very very large and when people are in that kind of cavity you can make them focus very much on you so that's the idea behind it Everyone has a concept, and if it's really strong, I like to take it and exaggerate it by building things for them, putting them on the bitch, saying that's yours for as long as I can like make money off of it. Well, thanks a lot, man. Thanks for showing me your shop. For sure, of course. Um, uh, good to see you, man. Yeah, good Me to and Flambeau. Absolutely. Here Here's in Brooklyn. Up. You're in Brooklyn. 